Welcome back, troglodytes, to the Trogly's Guitar Show, Trogly's Vlogly. What have we got to do today? Well, as far as I know, just one guitar to pack, but we'll see what future days bring. Which one is going away? Well, it'd help if I do all the latches. It's the Ash Top Custom. This guitar, check out the full review if you haven't. It's just such a bizarre mix of features. It has a figured ash top, as implied with the name, which you don't normally find on a Les Paul, let alone a figured one. I mean, this is like the best piece of ash I've ever seen. But what makes this one especially cool to me is it is stylized after a 74 Les Paul custom in its appointments. Like you've got the 74 looking logo. It has a volute. It and then it has this beautiful natural mahogany back. But what's kind of an interesting story that the buyer shared with me is his kids call this the ham bone guitar. Like this is the ham and then this is the bone that goes in it. <laughs> so I really like that nickname. I wish I would have thought of that one. It's kind of like how the Rhino custom, it has a similar story. The guy's kids just love the thought of having a Rhino guitar in the house. So that's why he got it. So let's go ahead, get this one packed up. Here we go. Nothing is moving inside of this box. All right, it's a new day. I'm being super fashionable wearing all yellow, but let's see, what are we shipping now? Well, it, this shouldn't really be that difficult. It's the Government 335 we reviewed this past weekend. I really enjoyed this guitar. I have not done many 335s, but you know, maybe I'll start branching off into more of these. The whole reason why I don't do a lot of them is the market really confuses me because it was around like 2015, a bunch of 335s got blown out and it seemed to impact the value of everything else because why should I pay twice as much for a vintage one when I can buy a brand new one that seemingly seemed similar. So I owned this guitar for like two, three months and it only took about 30 minutes to sell it. So let's pack it up. Our next guitar to pack lies in here. I bet you probably can't even guess what this is. It's the Prototype Eye Guitar. A lot of people hated this thing. I was a little bit disappointed by that. I mean, I get it. It's weird. It's goofy. It's a Telecaster SG-like thing. Check out the full review if you haven't. But I couldn't be happier with who this is going to. It's a guy, he, he only lives about two hours away from me. But he has something that he calls something like the Dark Guitars Collection. Like he has a Blood Moon Explorer and a few other gothic type things. So this fits within his theme perfectly. So I bet he's really going to enjoy this. And maybe one day he'll come over and we'll review all his other oddities.
it's not the prettiest pack job in the world. And unfortunately, I didn't get enough padding by the handle. So what you're hearing here, that's just the handle of the case flopping around, but the case itself is perfectly secure. So no worries there, but yeah, not the prettiest box in the world. Next on our packing list is a guitar that was featured in one of the other ones. The Zach Wild Camo. I definitely have a new appreciation of this guitar. It looks a lot better now when I just opened it than I did the first time I did. This guitar, it's powerful. There really, truly is something to a Zach Wild signature guitar. And again, I'm not the hugest Zach Wild fan, but this is going to a guy who's into metal. He was actually going to purchase this guitar from the guy I bought it from, but he decided to get a Slash Anaconda instead. But then he kept thinking about this one. He's like, oh, I have to have this. So we were going to do a trade for the Anaconda Burst, but in the end, he just ended up buying it on the 15% off sale, which was a great deal on this guitar. But remember, if you're doing EMGs, you must take the batteries out to ship them. So let's go do that. And I believe this is the last guitar I have to pack for this episode, unless something sells while I'm doing this. And then we'll move on to our one unboxing that is being delivered. The Karina Les Paul. This thing, it, it just has a stupidly beautiful top. I don't think I will ever find another guitar that looks quite like this one. The top is just so unique. It's it's a quilted top, but it has like these little honeycomb sections to it. This is one of the most beautiful custom shop standards I've seen. And honestly, you don't find Karina Les Pauls that often anyways. Fun fact about this box, this is one of the boxes I got with my Zoot Suit collection that I purchased a little over a year ago. No movement in that thing. So now we just wait for the UPS band to come pick up these four guitars and then he's bringing me one more that we'll unbox right now. One second for you, like 15 hours for me. All right. So let's unbox this thing. It seemed to have been packed very well with a lot of care. Very minimal movement in here. But this is actually a consignment piece. If you've checked out my website, I do offer my review services for $150. You just send me your guitar, I'll do a review. We can also consign it on reverb through my shop or I can send it back. I mean, it just depends. Do you want to sell your guitar or are you more so just interested in having it on my show? Now, sometimes if it's something cool, I'll do it for free, the review part anyways. But this guy, he just wanted to support me and my show because I told him, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to add value to this instrument, but I have wanted to check one of these out. All right, so we've got like a brand new Gator case here. 
I like these TSA latches. I don't know about you guys, but I think they're comfortable to use. Now, this one has four. So what do we have in here? Huh. Well, it's a Gibson, but uh oh, it's only a four string guitar. <laughs> this is a uh, EB3 bass, I believe. I honestly do not know a lot about these instruments, but I've always thought these were just the coolest looking basses. This is actually the first time I've ever held one of these. It's, you know, a lot lighter in weight than I thought it would be. I mean, it kind of feels just like a guitar. Like the neck isn't super thick, like a lot of bass guitars are that I've had anyways. So I'm interested to see what that nut width is because that definitely reminds me of a very thin SG. But it gets really wide up here. I'm guessing this is like for a thumb rest. And we've got like some sort of veritone here. So I'll have to do some research on the EB models. That stands for electric bass. But if you wanna give me some pointers in the comments section, I'll definitely take a look at those. Looks like our serial number is 306186. All right, thank you Troglodytes for tuning into this vlogly. A lot of guitars shipped out and one cool bass for review later on. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, check out the website if you're bored, and we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.